Hello, good people, and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. In this short video, I'm going to show you five reasons why you should use Excel tables to store, organize, and analyze data in Excel. As we always do, please join me in Excel and let's go through these useful tips. So, this is my data. It's on shipping fees and it has some columns going across and goes all the way down. So normally when you store data in Excel, you start off storing it in a range of cells. Sometimes you can even put border lines around it, Alt HBA. It gives it a tabular format, but essentially it's not a table. You can insert a table which is located under insert here so that you are able to organize and store related data. So to insert a table, there are some few things that you need to take note of. It would be ideal if you have a data block. So example, I have this data block it doesn't have any empty rows or empty columns within. It will also be good if you don't have any unrelated data attached to this data block. So example, this title it would be ideal if you have an empty row. Okay, so that it detaches from this data block. So I currently have nothing here on the side, on top, and then by the side. When you have this data block, you can stand in any cell and then press Ctrl T. So Ctrl T will now insert a table on this range of cells. You confirm you have headers for this table and your range as well, and then you click OK. Some few things happen when you insert a table. First, you have these banded rows and then you have some filter icons. But one important thing is that you have a new contextual tab in a ribbon. And this is sometimes called design or table design. If you are in the table, it pops up. If you step out, you lose it. So this is a guide on whether you're operating within a table area or not. When you go into the table design or design tab, you have some settings here. You can change the name of the table to something that can help you connect to the kind of content you have in there. So you can step in here. I'm going to call this cargo. Okay. So when you call this cargo, it means you are able to reference this block of data in any part of this workbook. So example, if I do equal to cargo, you observe that the entire block is selected. If I want to highlight a particular part of this data block, I just have to bring a square bracket and then I'll do fees and that particular column is also selected. Okay, while you're in the table design, you can also change the table styles. There are a lot of them here. So if you are not a blue person, you can just choose an orange. If you have some existing format, you can right click the format, apply and clear formatting and you have a new one in there. Now let's go through the advantages. One, it allows you to do what we call structured referencing. So as I demonstrated earlier, when you stand in here and you call the table name, the whole block is selected. Okay. If you do the square bracket after this and call any of the columns, you're essentially highlighting the column. So what this makes it easy for us, especially when you are using formulas is that you can easily do a formula without using the mouse to select. So equal to sum, I'll call cargo and then I'll call the column fees like this. And I have my total sum right here. You can also do average the same way. So average, I'll call cargo and then call in my fees, which is the column in here. And again, this is also done. The good thing about this is that this structured referencing or formula work I'm doing can be done in the same way in any worksheet in the workbook. So example, if I go here in a blank workbook and then let me zoom in, I do equal to sum. I'm able to call cargo and then bring in fees and I get this. Okay, so the same calculation is available in a new worksheet in the same workbook. Now the good thing is that the table auto expands when you bring in new data. So I have this new data. If I cut it and I go all the way up and then paste, 
okay my table expands and the calculation that i did earlier also expands okay so that is the second advantage it auto expands when you bring in new data the third advantage is that you are able to easily calculate new columns and when you do that the formulas also run down easily so example if you are doing let's say commission calculation okay by typing commission your table automatically expands and here you can take this and let's say multiply by 10 percent and then nicely you have your calculation going down like that that's the third advantage the fourth advantage or the fourth reason you should use tables is that it's very easy to put the data into a pivot table or summarize using pivot tables so example i'm here i'll go to insert a pivot table or alt and v you realize that i didn't have to use the mouse the table is already lifted as cargo and i click ok and i have my pivot table here so in this example let's say i want to analyze fees and pot name i can easily have this here okay now another advantage you have with tables is that you can directly insert slices slices act like filters so example if i stand in here and then i go to insert and i have a slicer here i'm able to insert a slicer let's say on account manager and this gives me this so while i have the original table i can click on any filter in the account manager or any account manager name and my table response okay so with all these the key advantage in here is that when you use tables for any calculation or you use it for your pivot tables you don't always have to resize when new data comes in you just paste it the table expands upon refresh all your calculations and pivot tables also update so if you are storing data using tables will give you a lot of advantages again please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks for more of these short videos you can join our broadcast list we send videos directly to you you can send add to this whatsapp number all our old videos are on our youtube channel finest skills hub please visit subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles Thank you so much for watching.